Hey guys, good morning, happy Monday. Welcome to another week. I just wanted to do a quick intro because I feel like I don't do intros for my vlogs and that's not cool. So if you're seeing me for the very first time, my name is Akusia, Akusia Benhini. I'm a Ghana girl, okay? Living in Massachusetts with my family. So that's what my vlogs are about. If you saw me from my makeup video or if you're here, from a makeup video that you you have seen from me then yeah it's just me <laughs> but you're welcome be sure to subscribe to the channel so you become a member of the family and um, all of the good stuff you know yeah but guys let's just get into the week because I want to drink my Kama water I really want to drink this and it's currently one i'm about to have my first meal of the day i'm so excited i'm having some red red i just made some plantains some bean stew fried some fish i will show you guys i will show you guys give me one second but and let me check on my plantain okay so i am about to have my first meal of the day and i wanted to have the kama water so it's peel off this so again this is probiotic water if you don't know what this is about this has been trending on tiktok for whatnot but i also saw it on chelsea's vlog chelsea is my girl i've been watching chelsea just for like a month or two now and i've been hooked to her channel like i watch literally every video that comes out so yeah <laughs> my plantain oh. um so i decided to, I, I was doing my grocery and then i saw this not like grocery but like i was buying something and then i saw this and then i'm like you know what let me pick this up and then try it so it has the probiotic situation here that's what it has at the top and then you're gonna push that into the water and then it's infused and then you have your nice nice probiotic water so let me put you guys here i'm gonna peel this off and then push the cap okay so you have to push this cap inside i hope i pushed it oh, i guess i did yep so i push it and then the water literally turns pink so that's exciting so i'm just gonna like put this together but let's go ahead and try this and see what it tastes like oh why okay oh i like it like it's literally like flavored water it does have probiotics um it has two billion active probiotic cultures and it's undiluted it's just water and probiotic and then this has i mean they have them in different flavors but this is the berry cherry um because this is the one that i saw it's okay anyway so i just really wanted to try this with you guys but it's monday today's content creation day my oh i have water my nose um it's content creation day so i'm just gonna dish out some food eat feed in front of her because she just woke up from a quick nap so we'll feed him and then head over to the office and film some content but i also have to post something on my youtube because i just posted on instagram are you guys feeling my youtube shorts do you watch those like be honest with yourself comment below do you watch the youtube shorts because i've been posting a lot there and it it seems to be getting like a lot more views than my regular content which kind of makes sense because it's obviously short form content but also do you guys really watch it or is it just like people who like i don't even know but anyway i'm gonna be posting on shorts because again it's brought in so many followers onto my channel like it's literally giving me over what almost 200 followers in a span of like two months so if you if you're a creator or if you are like an influencer or youtuber or whatever and you don't post and you have a youtube channel and you want to sort of like try to grow that channel or 
you know try to attract more people definitely post youtube shorts because it's the thing it's definitely giving me way more followers than i've ever had in a very short amount of time and i've seen a lot of other creators talking about the same thing so yeah um but i'm just gonna wait for that to post eat my food let me dish out the food and then show you guys i have a waist trainer on because i'm waist training today and yo goodness sake i don't think you guys can see it like I've had it on since morning and it's 1 p.m. right now and I feel oh my goodness it's I mean like it's tight cuz that's how I wanted it to be but also like <sighs> like don't say anything that's what I always say like don't say anything don't say it just just don't say it okay don't say it um, I'm just gonna keep it on for a few more hours and then I'll take it off. <laughs> I feel the warmth of your skin, just the touch of your hand. Hey y'all, um, hey guys. So it is much later. I finished filming. This is the look I created. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen it. But I wanted to show you guys. So last week, I think last week, because it was last week, yeah. I told you guys that I was going to the doctors, but I didn't really say why I was going to the doctors. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys were like, well, why are you going to the doctors? Why are you not saying anything? That was because I wanted to, and I still am doing that. But it's the vlog so let me show you guys so i went to the doctors for my hair i've been telling you guys i've been hinting for the longest time that if i don't see any progress with my hair with just the regular hair oils and everything i'm just gonna go to a doctor and i did okay so i'm doing a whole video the whole process um putting that in a whole video for you guys but i just got a delivery for my first medication and i wanted to share with you guys i have my first medication here so when i went to see the doctor again i'll put all of that in the video but they recommended that i start with this medication here it's some sort of topical that i'm gonna put on my hair um apparently my hair has gotten to the stage where no regular hair oils can bring it back um yeah so it is what it is like i'm happy that i actually went to see a doctor and so this is not a product that i can buy like off the shelf so i have to get a prescription for it so i'm gonna start with this i'm so excited to see what it does but i'm gonna be using this for like a good eight months i'd say and then i also have to go and get another treatment done and again i'm so excited to show you guys and share this whole process with you guys i don't know oh like it's 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 insane to me because i have let me bring you guys down because i have i've lost my hair the hair that i have in this area i've lost it for like over 10 years at this point since high school and i thought i was gonna be cool i'm not gonna lie i thought i was gonna be able to tough it out and just like live life but no okay i f i have just come to realize not just come to realize but over time i've realized that i have so much attachment to my hair and i love doing my hair i'm always doing my hair i'm always doing something to my hair and i know a lot of people will say keep your hands out of your hair you know that's how your hair grows but i love my hair i can't keep my hands out of my hair i'm always styling my hair and that's just who i am that's just my personality <laughs> so i have to get treatment and i have to you know be able to treat my hair to make it grow but also the very first thing the very very first thing that the doctor said 
was to lose the locks he calls the braids locks so <laughs> i found that really funny but he called every i guess he called every kind of braids locks and because he was referring to every kind of braids as locks and he was like the first thing that i have to do is definitely lose my locks because anything that is attaching directly to my scalp is not doing me any good it's just making more harm than good and obviously everybody says that that's like common sense like my, like my husband said well yeah we knew that <laughs> and i'm like well yeah we knew that but in ghana it's not like a thing you know like it's not something that you know in, in africa in general braids is something that we love braids is our culture it's a part of black people especially black hair it's actually who we are but then again anything that has to do with attaching like extensions to my hair is gonna go away and i just did this like a week ago so when he said it i'm like okay relax i'll take this off in a month and then i'm done so after this braids i guess i'm not gonna be doing braids for a very long time because apparently if i want my hair to grow if i want it to be nice and full healthy especially the hairs in the front i have to not do any braids so it's gonna be a whole journey it's gonna be a whole process again i'm very excited to go through this and to share this with you guys because it's insane but again i'm so excited so this is the first um medication that we're gonna be going through so i'll be using that daily on my scalp they're like eye drops but for your scalp and you put them on your in the areas where you have the hair loss but you also put them you start from areas where you have the hair loss obviously but you put them in your whole scalp and then he said to wash your hands when you're done because obviously it's a hair growth topical so when you put it when you leave it for like a number of days you're gonna start growing hair everywhere you don't want that so again i'm excited i just want to say i'm excited like i'm really excited but also i don't know what i'm going to be doing to my hair because wearing my own hair out is very hard like, you know like i have to style my hair every day so now i have to find a way to like deal with my own hair and that's just what it is and it's gonna be hard it's gonna be a journey but i'm excited to just like watch my hair grow because i'm not gonna lie my daughter's hair is so nice and full both my kids they have like really nice hair my first daughter has somewhat of like my hair but it's not so bad because they're kids you know and i find that it's like it's because i don't do too much with the hair <laughs> but my hair i'm doing too much with my hair so i have to find a way to like have fun with my hair but also not do too much which will be hard but i just wanted to show you guys this and you know bring you guys on and let you guys know what's up with the hair because i've been sharing my hair journey every single bit of the way with you guys on this channel so again i'm excited but it's 8 p.m it's almost 8 p.m it's 7 49 i've pretty much done everything social media i've posted my vlog i have um posted a video i've filmed i have photos all of that i'm in the process of finishing my laundry i just finished i think I, it just went off actually so i'm gonna clean up just tidy up the apartment because i go back to work tomorrow on tuesday as per usual so yeah i'm just really excited to start using this because i was waiting i was waiting literally every single day since i went to the hospital i was literally waiting every single day i'm like when is it coming it's not here like why is it not here so again i'm excited to try this but i'm tidying up sleeping waking up tomorrow having a good week and i'm excited for what this week has got to like i'm just excited you guys could tell i'm excited i'm just gonna go do what i have to do give the baby a bath and um yeah i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow right
guess we're stuck in between Life is a riddle, yeah And I don't know what it means, nah This is what it feels like But you're not alone Cause I'm just like you Let's share out and hitchhike There is nothing we seen me trying to prep some food for work so I did that <clears throat> so I just took my shower I came upstairs to put on some outfit it's not time for me to go to work it's actually like 9 30 something and I have to leave home at like 12 or 11 45 wait I'm gonna put on some pants this is like my favorite pants for work it's so comfortable and I've lost weights around my waist area so it's always like going down so I keep pulling them up because I like my pants so I come all the way up but this is my favorite I got them from big lots literally my favorite and then I'm gonna put on this top I love this top the make the style everything I will show you guys when I'm leaving home because I'm not putting it on right now because again I'm not leaving right now but this top is really really cute you guys already see what the style looks like it's like sweater but then this part is lightweight <laughs> so it's not like and then you have the sweater again here it's so cute it's such a vibe it's such a vibe I will show you guys when I put it on I got it from Amazon um, but this is what I'm wearing today and then I think I'll definitely do some boots I have some new boots so I have these boots that I really want to wear but they're kind of big I'm not gonna lie but yeah guys I'm gonna go downstairs and just relax post a photo on Instagram my food is in the air I'm air fryer still doing this thing so i'll just leave that but i'll show you guys what i eat today what i eat in a day today because i really want to do that and give it from a pet bath and then get out to work i also really wanted to i want to get some new skincare foam let me see if there's anything here that i left i also really want to get some new skincare from sephora because i ran out of my skincare but a lot of the things I can't order and pick up because I wanted to order all of them in front of my sleeping <laughs> but I wanted to order all of them and then pick it up but they don't have it here I don't know why and I really need skincare because I'm out of my moisturizer like I'm literally tell me why I've ordered boxy charm and 
it's been like almost five days and it's still not here i'm so mad at them but whatever For dinner, I have some leftover fried rice. I know it doesn't look cute, <laughs> but it tastes really, really good. And it's been a fro I, like I've literally put it in a freezer to keep it well. So I'll just take some of that. And then I'm gonna take some of the chicken that I just made. And then this is gonna be my dinner for today i am also i'll just leave it for the chicken to cool and then i'm also going to add some shito this is basically if you don't know what this is this is pepe from ghana it's a mixture of pepe ginger garlic and then we make a sauce out of that and it's called hot sauce basically and then we have that as a condiment with like other meals you can have that with rice with just pretty much whatever you feel like you want to have it with honestly Dinner. The lunch is cooked. So potato, I have my pork underneath and then I have my baby cabbages. I love this combination. I honestly stole this recipe from HelloFresh. So yeah. And then I also have my dinner. So this is much bigger than that one. But again, this is the only two meals I eat a day. And then I also have Kama water. So I'll take this with me. But this is pretty much my whole um, food for the day packed and finished hey guys hey guys happy wednesday so it's actually wednesday evening i came back from work a while ago and i just took my shower i don't have my microphone in i always say that but then it's always good so i guess i don't have to say that but i um i just took my shower so everything's nice and fresh but we have a sephora haul a cute little sephora haul because i picked up some skincare reup from sephora i was running out and then i had to grab my i literally it's not like i'm i was running out i ran out <laughs> like i don't have anything i'm even ashamed like i'm not gonna lie like literally i hit pan there's nothing in here and then my um rose water toner is also all the way done so i legit don't have anything i only have my serum and my eye cream and my sunscreen which is not really no <laughs> so i had to get a few things i don't even have a cleanser like goodness my cleanser literally ran out like two three days ago so I had to pick up a few things. So let me show you guys what I picked up from Sephora, okay? I picked up my cleanser. So this is what I've been using for a while from Paula's Choice. This is their perfectly balanced foaming cleanser. Uh, this is what I was using before. I've used one bottle. I got that from the Black Friday sales, if you guys remember, and then that ran out. So I had to get, mommy, no, for free, no, no. So I had to pick up another one because I ran out of the one that I picked up and it's cool. I honestly, for cleansers, I don't really have much to say about this. I picked up this one because it's like a two in one. It takes off your makeup and then it also cleanses. So I like it because I wear a lot of makeup and you guys know that. So I had that, but I have one exciting girl in here. So I have the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is the Fat Water Pore Refining Toner. I've been wanting to try this for the longest time. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I've been wanting to try this this particular product 
from that entire line this is the one that i'm wanting to try and then maybe the hydra vice um, moisturizer i think i want to try that one too but this was the one that i'm like mm, i think i like the idea behind this because she's just she has just become extra strong now she's growing so she's climbing everything and you know she needs like a lot more eyes because it's just i don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but this particular one is the one that I've been wanting to try for the longest time it's a toner and then it also has a serum like a two-in-one so it has a toner and then a serum so I really like that because for daytime I usually don't like to do a lot with my skincare I think I should do a daytime skincare routine for you guys but for my daytime skincare it is just basic as hell so I have that and then I also picked up, I picked up a few products from the Sephora line itself because I've had a thing or two, okay? Um, Aisha Haroon, she's my best friend in my head. I'm not even going to lie, I love Aisha. But she has been talking about this particular Sephora line, um, which is a skincare line. So I picked up a few products from there. I have the Feminine Cream, Feminine Day Cream. Um, this has squalene. My hands are so ashy, but it's just because I got out of the shower. Uh, I'm going to be using this. I also have to do my skincare because my face is also kind of dry. One has the squalene. I've never had any... I don't think I've had a product with squalene before. Hmm. I don't know if I like how it smells. And I don't know if I really like the texture. Oh, it's a balance cream. Hmm. I don't think I like it. I don't think I like the texture. I don't think I like the texture. Like majority of the creams that I use, they're water-based and this is not. This is very heavy, like it's thick and it's not my vibe. It's definitely not my vibe. Like, like look up, no, let me see what it, no. I need something like this one from Bliss. It's literally hydrating, but this is more so moisturizing. If you have dry skin, I think that you would really like this because it's like it's thick and, and I don't like that. I don't like that, but I guess since I already have it, I might as well. I might as well. And then I also picked up an overnight hydrating max this i'm also like excited to use so this is what it looks like the packaging is really cute if you ask me this is like really cute terrain so it has hyaluronic high oh my goodness hyaluronic acid <laughs> it has hyaluronic acid and i'm not gonna put polyglutamic acid wow wow but yeah so it's an overnight hydrating mask i don't even want to know what this looks like but i've seen aisha use this particular one that's why i got it for my nighttime skincare um you know so it's a vibe and then i have last but not the least i also picked up their melting cleansing balm because i the one that i have right now you know stay there <laughs> The one that I have right now is from Ponds. Tell me why. I feel like this this stuff smells like I don't want to say it and I don't want it to sound offensive, but it smells like pairing cream. Like it smells like a relaxer. I've used it twice. Like this is my second time using the same thing. I used it a very long time ago. And for whatever reason, I felt like that product that I was using before. Mommy, what happened? Hi, buddy. Why? <laughs> so, the first time that I used it, I used the mini size and I didn't really like it because it was the same experience. And I thought it was just that one. But I got a bigger size and it, it was literally the same thing. And I don't. I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't like it so hopefully this one doesn't also put me off 
Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. And this is also the kind of melting balm that I like. It's literally, you know, the yeah, this is all. This is the one from Pons. It's creamy. It's like a moisturizer. So you literally use it like a moisturizer and it melts off the makeup. It's it's good. It's amazing. It takes off. It gets the work done. But then just the thought of having that smell on my face. It's like I have a relax on my face and it's just really weird. So I'm like oh. <laughs> So I got this one. And yeah. I'm excited to actually I mean I guess I'm excited to use all the products because you know I love me a good new skincare new makeup you know I have one last thing and I'm just like oh I really love me good new makeup you know and so I was looking to buy some new foundation and then I'm like you know what, let me just get the one from Sephora because a lot of the girlies that I follow or a lot of the girlies that i watch on here they use this particular one and they have good reviews about it so i'm gonna use it in one of the videos or the tutorials coming up and you guys will see and hear what i think about it but this is the sephora best skin ever foundation um it, this particular one is in the shade 63p i used it this morning i swatched i went into sephora this one actually because i ordered online and then i did a curbside pickup and so i just had to like quickly pick up before i went to work so i didn't really have time to take you guys but when i went in store i really wanted to swatch to be sure that it was gonna work so i put a little bit on my skin and it looked literally like my skin i'm like I don't even see I took it to work and nobody could tell like I had it on just one side of my face and it was totally blended out and everything but nobody could tell you know that I had foundation on one side so I'm here for it I'm honestly I can't wait to try it but I'm gonna do my nighttime skincare I just really wanted to share this product with you guys um, that's like new in new in <laughs> for skincare i'm just gonna you know replace the old ones and put the new ones in because <laughs> a girl loves new skincare like i love new skincare Ooh. but again when i buy these products they last me a good three months because i bought the cleanser you guys saw that black friday haul i got this cleanser in like november ish and it went all like november december ish yeah and then it went all the way to february so that's like a good full two months at least and this is like twenty dollars so twenty dollars for two months that's how i do my calculations okay like i try to save some money because again as a young person as a millennial i'm growing trying to learn my finances and like how to be able to build generational wealth and everything you definitely have to consider a lot of things and you don't want to be out on these streets spending money that you don't have that is fact okay now when i'm buying skincare that's what i think about so one thing that i don't really care when i'm splurging on is skincare i would buy good skincare products because i look at the fact that this is gonna last me a good two three months so I would rather buy the quality one than just buy like any regular one. I mean, for for like you know for my serums, my um, treatments, I would put more money in that. And then for my moisturizers, I would not really buy like a high-end moisturizer. I'll buy like a regular or basic one because for moisturizer, it's not really doing much. The treatment is where you want to focus on. So that's a tip but i'm just gonna do my skincare put this baby to sleep she's already eating she's had a shower everything so she legit just needs to sleep at this point but i'll just you know do my skincare i have to edit for the rest of the night i just thought i'll share these products with you guys and oh i also wanted to you know i have to put this in my hair this is the product that i'm supposed to be putting in my hair i've been using it for a few days um i don't have any 
thing to say right now because again it's just been a few days so you guys should give me time when i have something to say about it i will but again i am curating a whole video for you guys so that will come up in like a whole you know hair treatment situation growing my hair whatever the title will be we'll see it but yeah i need to do my skincare before i put this on so the next clip i guess is going to be like a quick nice cute montage of my nighttime skincare enjoy and i'll see you guys tomorrow all right <laughs> you know that i want to be good for you you know that I wanna be good for you, I do But sometimes someone was bad for me Sometimes someone was bad, oh can't you see I'm just being weak mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you I think you know that I care for you, I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see that I'm just being me? Mm. Sometimes we're just colliding and we keep on fighting, but we'll be okay because we got unconditional love. Sometimes we're just crying. But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Damn, I don't wanna be mad on you No, I don't wanna be mad on things you do But sometimes I need what's best for me Sometimes I need what's best Baby, can't you 